What do we learn in this video? We learn today how to space learning in order to get most out of it. This is Confucius, a Chinese philosopher who lived 2500 years ago. He had a problem. He wanted that people become good citizens. But how can people learn to be good? He noted that it's difficult to learn. The basic question is, why is it so difficult to learn things thoroughly? A study by Badley and Longman in 1978 gives us an answer. The Royal Mail introduced a new postal code system. For that, they needed to teach their employees a new kind of typewriter to type the postcodes. What happened was that the British Mail asked psychologists, how could we do that? How could we train them best? And the psychologists said, let's look at that. So they had one group that learned much at once, four hours a day, and another group that learned little each day, just one hour a day. Guess which group was better? It was the one that learned only one hour a day. But guess who liked the learning experience better? It was the one that learned four hours a day. That is, people like learning much at once, even though that is not optimal for their learning outcomes. How can we explain that? Here comes in old research by Hermann Ebbinghaus. Hermann Ebbinghaus did research about forgetting. He was interested in how much we forget and what the form of forgetting is. And he discovered what is called the forgetting curve. So in the beginning, we have learned all and we forget fast, but then the curve flattens out. So in the beginning we remember 100% and then it goes down and as we can see I mean early on after one hour we haven't forgotten much and say after 12 hours we have forgotten quite a bit and then after one day depending on the materials we have forgotten a lot. And in the end, whether it's three days or one week or one month, does not matter, again, depending on the materials. Remember those with the typewriters. Those who learned four hours a day, they had a learning one hour, then a coffee break, and then they didn't learn much. As you can see here, they forgot it all within one day. Those who learned only one hour, they forgot a lot within a day, but then they relearned it and they had a better forgetting curve. And then they learned again and again the forgetting curve gets flatter and they remembered more. And that is why distributed learning is so good. You can apply the principle of distributed learning to all kinds of learning. For example, if you learn vocabulary, you can learn it either all at once but that is not useful, that we have seen. What you should do, you should learn them until you can repeat them and then put them on a side. And what you do is, after one day or after two days, you learn them again until you can repeat them. And then you learn them again after one or two or three days. So repeat the learning experience, but distribute it, space it. Note, you will not like that learning experience. It's harder to repeat it after some time, but the learning outcome is better. I hope that you have learned how to distribute learning. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.